Alana Santilli never imagined she'd have to care for her son Daniel after he moved out on his own. Daniel was a promising young Marine when he deployed to Afghanistan. He was tough, courageous, and physically commanding. Alana laughs when she tells how Daniel woke up on the rescue helicopter following the IED blast that wounded him, and the first thing he asked about was his workout supplements. He wanted to make sure they made it home with him. Tragically though, at age 22, Daniel came to rely completely on his mother's care. Two years after Daniel returned home with PTSD and a traumatic brain injury, doctors found a brain tumor and then a cyst. As his caregiver, Alana battled her son's fits of anger, rescued him from hallucinations, and did everything she could to get him through the day without hurting himself or others. There were times when Daniel would disappear. Alana would look for him, file a missing persons report, before receiving a call that she could come pick him up in jail or at the psych ward. When Daniel finally underwent brain surgery, Alana sat in the waiting room and ached with worry as he teetered on the brink of organ failure. She later absorbed the unexpected news that her 29-year-old son will be left with the mental capabilities of a child. After intense recovery, Alana entered Daniel into a residential hospital program that would rebuild his independence. After a few months of rehabilitation, Daniel returned home for the holidays to evaluate how well he could live outside the hospital. Daniel was home long enough to see presents being opened and attend church with his father, but he soon felt fatigued and ill. On his second night home, the night before Christmas Eve, Daniel went to bed early and peacefully passed away in his sleep. For seven years, Alana faced a never-ending series of setbacks and hardships. Her emotional strength and the strength of her marriage were tested as she became consumed with looking after her son. The sudden loss of Daniel was the final step in Alana's caregiver journey, and it was one she wasn't sure she could ever come back from. The Marines who fought beside Daniel served as his pallbearers. The military caregiver community offered Alana their love and support, but the sacrifices they made were on behalf of every American, and each of us owes them our support. Alana, you've stood by your veteran. America now stands with you.